a muscle-bound karate expert concealed a razor edge which could lop the head off of a marble statue. Yo, what up guys? Uh, I'm here to do a little voiceover thing for this raw run that uh, Jack and I shot for grade. We start off kind of pushing out of this driveway that I stayed at for a little bit when I was out on Maui with some homies. Uh, it was super sick because we could like push out of the driveway and skate this road and connect to a couple other roads and go all the way down the beach. Maybe like 2,000 feet of elevation drop. We got some Curtis Mayfield going for you. It's funky and stylish and stuff. The hairpins are really tight, which is makes for a lot of fun, but it's kind of sketchy. Uh, yeah, it's really sick feeling when you go through them because you have to hug the inside really tight and your like face goes right next to like that red rock wall. So that's a pretty cool feeling. But yeah, we got another hairpin coming up here. This is the corner where Jack and I were shooting for grade and I dislocated my shoulder on one of the shots, just like diving into the apex. Uh, and that was really tough because after that we had to film basically like the whole rest of the section. And Jack was only out there for a week, so I was like, shoulder was kind of like, I don't know, not in a good way for a lot of that. But you know, film must go on or something like that. But uh, this is the bottom section right here. Um, we're hauling pretty quick. I think you can get up to like 50, maybe 55 in this quickest part. Um, it's not like totally straight. There's like lines you have to connect the whole way, the little chicanes. But uh, it's definitely a full tuck road. Full tuck section, I should say, of the road. Up above where we started filming, the road's like really tight and really tacky, super thin. So it's cool, the road has like straight tucking section and like this techy section. Uh, when Jack was out there to film for Grave, we uh, kind of didn't know like like Grave was going to be like as kind of like as much of uh, an investment for like Caliber and as it was. We didn't know like what was going to go down with it, so we were just kind of trying to like stack clips as much as we could for the Hawaii section to like I don't know see if like we could maybe be a catalyst for like the rest of these trips to go down. But uh, it was super fun just because Jack and I were out there filming and. Uh, just trying to get like the sickest clips we could, just kind of for the sake of getting clips more than anything. But yeah, that last one right there is super sick. It's a really late apex to it, makes it difficult. I was filming on a Vugenhausen when this was shot, because uh, I was back when like the first prototypes of my pro model were just starting to happen. Yeah, Vugen caliber precisions and some like prototype uh, rad influences. This right right here too is also pretty cool. Another late apex pointer. Yeah, you definitely kind of quick all through this section. The telephone wires are crossing overhead. It's pretty sick. But yeah, that was uh, basically I feel really lucky to be able to live on that road for a little bit. Uh, spend some time out on the islands. Um, Big thanks to everyone that made it possible. Big thanks to Kaimana for sure, for uh, showing me around, make me feel at home. Um, definitely big thanks to everyone that made great happen, Caliber and Arbor, and uh, for all my sponsors that are uh, going to make this all possible. But most of all, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the little run, a little kind of background info on the, what we're doing to make great happen. Yeah, hope all's good. Go on skate.